Alright, just going to do a quick video why baptismal regeneration is a satanic lie from the pit of hell. Recently came across this video by Watchman D. Devil D is what he is. He's a lying servant of Satan who teaches a false gospel, a false Roman Catholic gospel of works. He did a video where he was debating with Brother Bob about the issue of baptismal regeneration. And he's just like any typical baptismal regeneration pagan, he is defending his heresy. And essentially what baptismal regeneration is, besides being completely pagan in origin, okay, baptismal regeneration is pagan. It comes from pagan religions. You can read Alexander Hislop's book, The Two Babylons. He shows the pagan origins of this idea of water washing away your sins. It's a wicked doctrine, but I'm going to explain to you why baptismal regeneration is sat basically satanic. It's Satan's lie and it's from the pit of hell. Okay, here's why. Because baptismal regeneration rips the salvation out of the hand of God and puts salvation, it gives man the control of your salvation. Because if that preacher does not want to baptize you, then he can control whether you get saved or not. That's why it's satanic. I'm going to show some scriptures about salvation being completely from God, not from man. And this destroys the whole concept of baptismal regeneration, because if baptismal regeneration was biblical, it would mean that salvation is not completely of God, because it means that man has the power over your salvation. Okay, John chapter 10, verses uh, 27 to 29. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me, and I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish, neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. My Father which gave them me is greater than all, and no man is able to pluck them out of my Father's hand. Okay? It's Jesus Christ who gives eternal life, not the preacher, not the baptizer. And to suggest otherwise is parroting Satan's lie. You see, Watchman D is a satanic heretic, okay? He is teaching Satan's lie of basically ripping salvation out of the hand of God. Plus, he also believes he's sinlessly perfect too, which is another Luciferian heresy. Uh, Watchman D is just a Luciferian heretic. Uh, Psalms chapter 3, verse 8. Turn there. See, you have no control over how you get saved, okay? God is, is who saved you, okay? You accept the gospel, you believe the gospel, and God is who provides salvation, not you. You don't you don't work your way to heaven, you don't earn your way to heaven. And if you're trying to do that, you're gonna do a nosedive straight into hell. Psalms chapter three, verse eight. Salvation belongeth unto the Lord. Thy blessing is upon thy people, Selah. Salvation doesn't belong to the baptismal preacher. Salvation belongs to the Lord, plain and simple. Jonah chapter two, verse nine. Uh, Jonah chapter 2 verse 9 let's turn there but I will sacrifice unto thee with the voice of thanksgiving I will pay that I have I have vowed salvation is of the Lord not of your preacher it's provided by God but if baptismal regeneration was correct this verse would be a lie here uh, Revelation chapter I sorry, Psalms 37, verse 39. Psalms 37, verse 39. But the salvation of the righteous is of the Lord. He is their strength in the time of trouble. Again, you see the theme is of the Lord. Never once does any mention any man, you know, having the means of your salvation. Watchman D is a is a puppet for Satan. He's a jester for Satan, plain and simple. Psalms 68, verse 20. Turn there. Psalms 68, verse 20. He, he that is our God is the God of salvation, and unto God the Lord belong all the issues from death. He is the God of salvation. God is. Who is God? Jesus Christ is God manifest in the flesh. Salvation is provided by Jesus Christ. You compare that with John chapter 10 verse 28. He is a God of salvation. Why? Jesus Christ is who provides salvation. And finally, Revelation chapter 7 verse 10. These are scriptures that the baptismal regeneration pagan heretics like Washman D don't want to show people. Revelation chapter 7 verse 10. And cried with a loud voice saying, Salvation to our God, which sitteth upon the throne and unto the Lamb. 
Salvation is completely provided by God. You have no part in your salvation. You have no, you cannot merit your salvation. The only condition is salvation is repentance towards God and faith towards Jesus Christ. You can, water does not wash away your sins. Okay, that is a pagan doctrine, plain and simple. You don't get like a, uh, I've heard it said, you don't get washed in the tub. You get washed in the blood. And these baptismal regeneration her heretics, they put more emphasis on the baptism than they do the blood of Jesus Christ. You look at their channels. It's all about being baptized, but never about the blood of Jesus Christ. They are undermining the blood of Jesus Christ. They are spitting on the sacrifice of Jesus Christ. They put more emphasis on water baptism than the blood sacrifice of Jesus Christ. They are satanic heretics, plain and simple. They're parroting, they're deceived by Satan. And Watchman D is leading his followers to hell with them. Okay? Your baptism does not save you. Okay? You're a heretic if you think that, plain and simple. You're a lost hellbound heretic. And Watchman D, you need to get saved, plain and simple. You're still a lost hellbound sinner that is lost and dead in trespasses and sins. And unless you repent, you will, all, you will likewise perish as long as, as well as your followers. I'll put it that way. But yeah, you're still a lost hellbound sinner and you need to get saved. Repent of your sins now, okay? Repent and believe the gospel of the grace of God. Your baptism will not save you. And to all the my um, you know subscribers out there, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.